Hey there guys, Mark here from Soulfly Concepts and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to be looking at how to make scenery, uh, what you need, etc. So again, like my ADE tutorials, this is going to be set over the course of a few videos. I'm not quite sure how many yet because I can't see the future. So if making scenery is something you want to get into, then there's a few things that you need to do first. Like there's a couple of boxes you're gonna want to tick just to give yourself the best chance of uh, making some scenery, if you know what I mean. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna become part of this website here. This is fsdeveloper.com. Um, just go ahead and tap that into your internet browser now and sign up and become part of the great community on here. Now you can ask your questions. You've got, this is a massive forum. You can ask your questions in general chat and showroom. Like if you uh, go into general chat, you can ask pretty much any question you like. Um, however, I will try and keep it topical. Like try and keep it within the ranges of scenery. Don't just go into the general chat and say like, how do I become famous on YouTube? Because no one's going to answer you. So the showroom is pretty much for, um, signing out what, what you've already done. Take a screenshot and be like, I've just made this. What do you think? Um, project recruiting, that is simply for uh, recruiting people. Like if you if you want to make some scenery and you've made like half of it and you say, I'm looking for someone to make me some cars. Can someone make me some cars? And just post, post that right right there in product, uh, project recruiting. Test, test, no one uses that because reasons. Um, SDK installation, that goes through how to install the SDK and any questions you might have about it. 3D asset design, now this covers all of your general model um, software. Um, below that, if you want to get into making aircraft, you have aircraft design. Uh, you have gauges, flight dynamics, aircraft sounds, and other. Uh, for airport design, you have all the general stuff that goes with that. You can have airport design general, airport design editor, BGL comp, XML, AdCAD, scene gen X, um, FSX, planner, airfield lights, toolbox. That is a really good program, by the way. If you make things for FS2004, that is a fantastic tool to have. Terrain design, living world AI, it goes on and on and on. Like it's a massive forum. Like you'll pretty much find everything you're looking for in that forum. The next thing you're gonna need is some software. So don't just jump straight in thinking I'm part of S FS developer, I can now make scenery. No. You're going to need some kind of software. Now, this site that I'm on here is Scruffy Duck Software. Uh, they are responsible for airport design editor or ADE. And it is so widely used in the ESP community. So you can generate simple airport scenery. You can make yourself uh, new runways, things like that. Uh, you can add to older airports. Um, one thing that I will mention straight away is ADE comes with um, advanced footprints for your buildings and things like that. And I would highly recommend installing that if you're going to get ADE. If you get the latest version, everything works fantastically. Now, the developers of Airport Design Editor, Scruffy Duck, are actually on FS Developer. So if you need help with it, just post your little question in Airport Design Editor. Uh, where the hell has it gone? There it is. If, just post your little question in the Airport Design Editor forum and Scruffy Duck will get back to you. Hey, like, if you can help it, don't message these guys directly because uh, although you can, uh, if you can help it, don't message them directly because they already have a lot of things to do. Okay, so that's that. The next scenery software you're going to need is Model Converter X. So it can be found on this groovy little website here called scenerydesign.org. Now inside here you have a multitude of tools. You have Model Converter X, Scene Proc, um, also Gen Configuration Manager, Library Creator XML, FX Editor, DrawCore Monitor, CAT, which is a conditional animation tool, I think. Um, object Placer, MDL Tweaker 2, Compile, Helper, and uh, Radiator. Okay, so the first thing that I would highly recommend getting from this would be Model Converter X, but instead of clicking on the stable releases like that, um, the best thing to do is to go ahead and click on the uh, development releases here. And you can get yourself the latest development release of Model Converter X. Now, the latest dev releases are f literally filled with things that have been requested by the community. And again, the developer of 
Model Converter X is on FS Developer. It's known as Arno. So if you have a Model Converter X problem, then just post it in the uh, like 3D asset design, or you can post it in the Model Converter X forum itself. And the chances are Arno will get back to you. There's also a few other great guys on here that know their way around Model Converter X quite well. So the chances are your question can be answered without having to get a new version of Model Converter X. But should it necessarily come to it, you can get a newer version of Model Converter X. Like I think Model Converter X is updated on like a, a, a bi-weekly basis. So like if like two times a week, like the chances are you're gonna have a new Model Converter X. So SketchUp Make. SketchUp is actually a paid um, 3D modeling software. You, you can pay for it and you can get all of the wonderful things that come with it. Now, if you click on any of these languages here, um, you're going to get the one you want. So ES, France, um, I think that's uh, German, Italian, things like that. Um, but like me, I speak English, so I click on English. Now that would take you to this tab. Now, I've already tested these because I didn't quite know which one's which, right? But um, here it says English download. Download SketchUp Make 2017. Turn to condition SketchUp Make. You might be wondering, hang on a minute, where's the, where's the download button? It should be a big green button here. So, no, it's, it's this guy. You want to click on that, and what would happen is, well, this. SketchUp Make 2017.exe. And once that downloads, you can then run that and SketchUp Make starts as a 30 day trial of SketchUp Pro. Once the trial expires, it reverts to SketchUp Make, which is basically SketchUp Pro. Uh, there's like not much difference, really. The only real difference that I have personally noticed is that SketchUp Make and SketchUp Pro have two different um, exporting things. So like uh, you click on export 3D model and SketchUp Pro has things like 3DS and all these wonderful file formats. SketchUp Make only has DAE, um, Collider file, but you don't need anything else to export with. Like SketchUp Make is perfect. I would recommend getting Blender um, if you can. Now Blender is available on Steam. It's also available by standalone website. Um, I'll put the link in the description. But uh, yeah, Blender is a slightly more advanced version of SketchUp. Well, a lot more advanced, really. Um, you can make movies in Blender, for God's sake. And um, like, yeah, Blender is slightly more advanced. It takes a bit longer to build things. But yeah, if you want to really get into 3D modeling, then Blender is the way to go. Don't focus on SketchUp. Go straight to Blender. There's a bit more of a learning curve. But once you get it, Blender's your best friend. So if you want to make scenery and you want to make scenery decently, SketchUp. If you want to make scenery stupidly advancedly, Blender, okay? But yeah, SketchUp or Blender, it's up to you completely. So I would recommend SketchUp because it's so much easier to use. And it's free. Blender's also free. But yeah, uh, I keep saying, but yeah, don't I? <clears throat> so SketchUp. Blender, it's up to you. But for this tutorial, we're going for SketchUp because it's, well, easier. So once you have downloaded those few programs, uh, specifically Airport Design Editor, Model Converter X, and SketchUp, um, you are pretty much ready to start making scenery. There is like one more thing you're gonna need and that is the SDK tools for your particular simulator. If you have Lockheed Martins prepared, uh, then you can get the SDK from their website. If you have Flight Simulator X, then you can get the SDK from FS Developer. Now, I will show you. Click on Resources and click on SDK. Click in FSX. And here we have the SDK Service Pack 2 and the Service Pack 1. Now I have been told that the P3D version 2 SDK works absolutely fine as a stand-in for FSX. Alright? I will also put in the description a link 
to my Dropbox account, um, which has the FSX RTM SDK available for it. So you can download that and then you can upgrade to Service Pack 1 and 2 if you need to. If you have the Microsoft Flight Simulator um, X Steam Edition, then the SDK is actually shipped with the Steam Edition. Let me show you here. Go to Steam, uh, Steam Apps, Common, FSX. Okay, now we're in the FSX subfolders here now. If we scroll down a little bit, we'll see SDK. We click into there, we have our Core Utilities, Environment Kit, Mission Creation, Sim Object Kit, and the SP1A. Now we can install Service Pack 1 if we want to, but we don't want to. I'm just going to leave this as it is, because I'm using my FSX boxed version for it. So that's where you've got to find your SDK if you have the Steam Edition. It is shipped with the Steam Edition. You are not notified of this or anything along those lines. But if you have FSX Steam, you have the Steam SDK. Alrighty. So now we have all the tools marked down. I know what you're thinking. Oh, I want to jump straight in and start making scenery. Well, there's a few things that you need to do first. So scenery is definitely on the cards now. Like, it's definitely on the cards. You've downloaded everything you need to start making scenery. Everything that you could possibly need has been downloaded. It's on your computer. It's usable. There is... A couple of things sort of holding you back a little bit. Of course, your simulator, you're going to need to uh, you're going to need to get that yourself because uh, I, I don't provide that kind of stuff. So when you finally install ADE, you're going to be greeted with the sim selection box if you have more than one flight sim installed. Again, this is for ESP only, so you're not going to see things like X-Plane in that list. I don't know what the plans are for the future, but as of right now, you won't see X-Plane in there. And once you get Airport Designer up and running the way you want it to be, um, if you need help on that, I do have a link in the description to a series of videos regarding ADE. But yes, um, this is the screen you're going to be greeted with every time you open up the software. And from here, you can either A, say, I want to make a new airport, or I want to make um, changes to a stock airport, things like that. So you have Airport Design Editor, and you can make changes to AFCAD scenery. As well as, um, Airport Design Editor also comes with generic buildings, and it also comes with library objects. So if you make a library of objects, you can import them into ADE, and you can place them using ADE. And as long as that library is active in your scenery, um, you can use it in your scenery. Now, I use um, the Sawfly Concepts library. UK2000 uses the UK2000 Common Library. Um, the difference being, UK2000 makes sure their common library is always kept up to date. I just ship it with the newest sceneries. You're going to want to make a library of objects, like just generic objects, sort of like fuel tanks, uh, air stairs, things like that. You're going to want to make a library of objects. I've got mine. UK2000 has theirs. And yeah, you're going to want something along those lines. So that is Airport Design Editor. Uh, we also have SketchUp. Uh, Modern Converter RX, let me just show you Modern Converter RX quickly. So this software has been extensively modified um, by Arno at FS Developer. He has taken what originally was just a... I'm, I'm not going to say terrible piece of code because the code was fantastic, but he has taken a piece of code that he has tweaked and pushed and sort of adjusted over the last few years, and it's turned into a very, very powerful little program. Not to mention, this is free of charge. So everything I've mentioned right now is free. Everything is free. You don't have to pay a penny. Modern Converter X comes with some very, very powerful tools. And it has a ground polygon wizard inside it. So if you need to lay down ground polygons, you can do. Um, it has the import and export of flight sim and non-flight sim objects. So you can, for example, import 3DS objects and export them as flight sim objects. You can, for example, um, export as um, FSDS objects, flight sim design studio objects, and things like that. You don't, you don't have to just stick with the basics of um, FS design. Modern Converter X is a very powerful program. 
Now, also on that um, sceneryofdesign.org website, you'll find library creator XML, which is uh, this little guy here. And this is also a very powerful little program. Um, if you make your um, library of objects, this is also a very powerful little program. If you make your library of objects and you want to know where to put them, here is the best place for them. Like you just click on new and you just drag the MDLs in. And then once you're happy, you press save library and you save it into a location. You can find it quite easily. And there you will have your library of objects, which can be used all over flight sim. Again, you're going to need some kind of flight sim. I've got FSX, FS9, P3D version 3, P3D version 4, and uh, P3D version 5 as well, which is not listed here. But yeah, I've got all of those flight sims installed for myself. Uh, you're going to want one or more of your own. It depends. But yes, that is the basics of scenery design covered in video one. In video two, we'll be looking at how to actually start merging these programs together. So I'm going to create an AFCAD and I'm going to create some basic buildings. And we're going to be using all of the tools we've downloaded to compile everything together. So we're going to make one airport. And the airport I'm going to be picking on is Newcastle, because reasons. Anyway guys, my name is Mark from Soulfly Concepts. If you did like this video, remember hit hit the like button for me. If you want to, go ahead and subscribe. We are at 1,000 subscribers now. I cannot believe it. I am so over the freaking moon. 1,000. Wow. Just feels like yesterday I was saying we're at 400 subscribers, but now we're over 1,000 now, and I am stupidly grateful. Anyway guys, my name is Mark from Soulfly Concepts. If you liked the video, please let me know by hitting the like button. If you didn't like the video, hit the dislike button. If you want to, go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well. Become one of my long-term subscription buddies. Uh, whatever that means. And uh, even if you didn't like the video, hit the subscribe button anyway and hit that bell icon just so you can be notified every time there's a new video that comes out that you don't want to like. Yeah, uh, well, they want to hit the dislike on, yeah, that, that'd be fine too. But yes, my name is Mark from Software Concepts. Have a great day, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.